uh, we do get 100 followers, we would um, basically what I'm doing is 50 followers. I'm going to do a Keanu Reeves pro, uh, the cyberpunk version of him um, live stream, as in cosplay, uh, because I've got the hair pretty much. I don't have it to his length, but you know I can only do what I can do. Um, and uh, if we do to get to a hundred followers, it's going to be a drunk stream with the cosplay. So it's going to be being drunk at the same time. Now, Grounded is basically a game preview on the Xbox, and I think it could be on the PC as well. Not totally sure. Now, it's literally you are a you're a kid. I chose Max over here um, to. Yeah, you're a kid that basically gets just wakes up all shrunk and everything. This is like Honey I Shot the Kids meets uh, art. And yeah, you just you get sent on to basically you have a whole mission where you gotta figure out these uh whoa, you gotta figure out these um these missions. Uh, you know, you got you gotta get given missions and everything to start with where you have to We have to basically. Uh, I'm trying to find it for you guys. Just in case you guys do. I'm not going to explain too much about the missions. To, the campaign is very short anyway, because the game is a game preview. So, And there is going to be a lot of bugs. There's going to be a lot of things. But, yeah, see what I said? Bugs. No. But the first side is this game, where it's. Um, it's a game preview. You're not only helping fund their future updates, but you've got early access to it. It's like basically when, um, what was it? Where was it? I think it was Ark. Basically, I've I've always brought game preview games because I've always wanted to help out, and I love. Seeing a game when it's basically being upgraded and, and I'm so good to it because if you buy a game preview game uh, and it does get worked on and everything, you are buying it for like 20 or quid, 20 maybe 30 or quid. If it does get worked on and you end up basically, it you know, you go see all the graphics, you get to see all the updates, and if then you can sometimes get rewards for you know being. One of the game previews, basically a Kickstarter kind of thing. Um, but you can also um, what was it? Yeah, you can save yourself a bundle because it'd be like sixty quid if it, when it comes out to full game, forty to sixty quid. So you're saving yourself a bit, and it just helps out the company as well. But it also means yeah, you get early access to the game. You can piss us around. Have Fun. This is a multiplayer game, it's up to four players. You can hurt your teammates, so have fun with that. Because um, I'm playing uh, Restive and uh, Brumzilla and that. And literally, uh, first thing, crazy, me and Brumzilla found out was we can hurt each other, really. And it was like we just basically beat an absolute turd at each other. Um, you can see, I, yeah, I know I'm hungry. You can see I'm actually building a base here. I am thinking of moving my base due to the fact that there is a gigantic spider outside my base. Now, food and hunger is a key thing, but as you can see, you can see it's very like um, Conan as well, very Conan-y as well with the with the wheel and arc. But yeah, um, if you do end up getting the game, then you know, brilliant, absolutely amazing, because that that means they they got more funds they can help them out. I'm not, I'm just making assumptions on the funds part. By the way, I'm not, because every every game preview game is basically development, and it does say that it's gonna you know make it upgraded through the time. Um, what 
What was I going to say? Oh, what was I going to say? Um... I don't know what I was going to say, guys. Yeah, um... That was it. I don't know. I actually don't know. But yeah, it's literally... you. Yeah, food and hunger, you've got to worry about, like, quite... Quite a lot. Yeah! <laughs> I turn the <laughs> Also, just for you acrophobic people in a bin, don't worry, I'm, I'm a bit the same. Right, there's our spiders. You, They've actually made a slider where you can turn it into basically a gooey thing. You will, It will turn the gooey thing, basically, you have a massive gooey thing chase after you. Now, that was it, the missions, yeah. Uh, the missions, this you start off with doing having to do, um, like, the, the little box you saw me at. Ooh, uh, dinner. I just saw dinner on the, on the run. Dinner ran off. Dinner. Yeah, they are cute and adorable, by the way. I absolutely adore them myself. But, I gotta eat. I could just find mushrooms, yeah, I'll find mushrooms instead. But yeah, it's literally, it's only got a short campaign at the moment. Like, literally, three things you gotta do, and then literally, you crack on, basically, to build bases. But I personally would build a base really good, get yourselves, like, you know, really, really good gear, because, look, there's so much stuff, and this is only stuff that I've researched, because there's a research part of it. Like, Come here. Yeah, I suck by the way at this game. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, you have to. I'm not going to show you how to do it because it's already been done for me. But there is there is a power cable. But one of these power cables. Um, not, not showing you which one. I'm not telling you how to do it. <laughs> uh, it basically activates. That big mechanism. That is literally the campaign, and it tells you to go over there and you meet the robot. We'll run over there in a second and show you the robot. I'll show you the robot in a second. The robot uh, gives you basically little side missions, gives you researching, because it literally, you basically earn, you see the little missions up in the top, top left corner. They are the basic side missions I've got up in. Um, I could do them anytime I like, I could do them in any order I like. I can cancel them, I can basically, there is no hint. This game is so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, on death, you only drop your bag, and then you run back to your bag, pick it all up. There, and by the way, you can uh, die as many times as you like, and you know, there is no, this game basically gives you not, like, literally no penalties, really. I don't know if they're going to keep that. I kind of like it, because it means that you've got the relaxation of, like, you can just basically enjoy the game, piss us around, have um, build a biggest base you want to, and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, so the robot, aha, the robot gives you, aha, there you go. The robot gives you basically little, come here, you know. Yeah, the robot gives you um, how to mission to be just completing you know any order you want. Uh, the game, funny enough, for mostly eat mushrooms. Don't eat mushrooms in real life, kids. I don't like the ones, in the, you know, the ones in the garden. Eat mushrooms that you buy from the shop, or if you are a home grower, eat the ones that your mum had, your, your mum and dad have actually, or your nan and granddad, whoever is basically doing the gardening has actually picked out for you. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to find you a thing. You see, basically, um, in the top, in the left corner, my health and my water and everything. It'll keep there. You go. It'll keep doing that because that is taking me to a research station. I've already learned, like, they're found for a research station because this is for a game preview. 
this is your map. They've got a whole area here that is like locked off. And literally, yeah, look, this, they've got so much like map area content. I can't wait for it. Yeah, the Fedipus, if you're watching this, brilliant. I actually love your game. But yeah, um, to the point that I've actually got friends who play Warzone. They're going, I want to go to Warzone. Go, you go to Warzone, mate. I'm having done this. I'm doing this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, literally, when you get a whole lot of items, I think, you, like a new item and whatnot, you literally can go over to this research machine, you get you get the, the, the place, the little tents. Uh, there's also one at the main base, well, the main place with the robot. Uh, do not fret. The free char charges you get, they recharge. You can use them over and again, it's just basically free charges, so you don't sit there spamming it out. So it basically makes you wait. But yeah, you literally click on it, and um, also, um, don't scan one item and then think, you know, like, um, but it's an ant club. I had to, I scanned a bit of ant. Ooh. What the hell? There you go, let's try some DNA. Well, DNA, some research, sorry. While we're doing that, actually, let's go to the fuel station. So it's, yeah, these are all the fuel stations I found. Where is the road? There. There's a man of ant here. There you go. Oak Lab. Yeah, one thing I do want them to put in is markers. Because that way you can tell your team, like, oh, I'm going over here. You know, I'm clicking over here. That's the only that's the thing. Um, but no. What is it? Uh, <coughs> there's so much about this game. I just want to explain. I can't process it all. I am going to move my base because I kind of don't like the area because of um Spider up ahead. yeah two spiders three spiders spiders are kind of increased in this game I've done a bit of an update happened but yeah you literally uh, yeah, that's it. For the ant club, I had to scan. I scanned once, and then literally we scan another part. Don't scan just one part of an animal. Scan all of it if, if you can. Uh, scan. Sometimes it tells you you can scan stuff twice, and you basically get two things you can research. You can like, basically make because the more you scan stuff, the more you can re basically get the extra gear. That's crap there. Have I got a shot? Yeah, I got a shot. Come here. Yeah. I'm going to put my armor on. Yeah, armor also has different strength in it and everything. Basically, the ant armor. Gives you holding, uh, holding strength, so it means I can carry more, and that gives you max stamina. Uh, also, the glider as well. The glider basically allows me to. Come here! Touche! Hey, dog. Meals on wheels. Alright, I'm gonna leave them there. Yeah, literally, this is what the game is, and it is absolutely brilliant. Um, oh. Yeah, fresh water is so much... Yeah, fresh water is so much better than... Um, being Acorns you can break, by the way. But I'm too busy trying to make sure I dodge all the spiders, because there are like, no spiders over here. I think I can show you them. I have one of those green dudes. Yeah, look, look at them. Blah. Blah. I'm, I'm literally a wuss for the spiders. 
I used I literally used to like I was one of those weird kids that had a pot at what I had in the back garden that I uh, kept like a spider in. I I was really weird. I had a spider, a worm, um, some wood louses. What is that noise? What the hell? That's supposed to be doing that. Yeah, and then um, literally, it was like a little, like, you know, lunchbox thing. I did have holes in it, guys, and I'm not that cruel. But I was like, I used to put bugs in there for the spider. Go and the spider can eat him and a thing, but the unfortunate the spider was passed, and I never really understood why. Because I, but now, you know, nowadays I do. So it's like, oh, okay, they're not obviously wanting to eat it for some stupid reason. Um, but yeah, and now, and then literally nowadays I'm just like, oh god, spider, and I literally freak. But yeah, this is Burgle. He's the guy you find. It's good to see you again. He may sound like a certain claptrap from Fallen Out 3. Oh, he's got nothing for me. But yeah, this is what we've bought so far. Uh, if you literally, if you are playing, uh, the worlds are obviously like Ark when you've got a, um, or Seven Days to Die. When you've got a, if you're the host of the world, your friend's gear won't disappear, but they can't carry on your story, I don't think. So they have to keep joining your world to basically carry on with you and everything. So, but the plus side is, if they want to join you, if they basically play in their in their own world or anything like that, they, well, no, I think all the all the research they saved up they do before they look at your world adds back onto yours. So literally, if Restorano came to mine and he had like three thousand himself, we'd have six thousand research to spend. That's why we got literally. Quite a lot because literally he went along with like three thousand, I think, and brought a whole of it. Because I think we share it. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, we do. We share it. Uh, but yeah, you get grass plank, uh, gate, sturdy wall, and all that. And then you got torch upgrades, multi-story, and basically that. Um, I'm really hoping they do add some more content in, like quite fast. I know I'm hungry. We're going home now, we do thing. But uh, literally, that is all the game at the moment. It... Wow. That was a lot of research. Apparently, there was something. It's good to see you again. Yeah. yeah, this is where you get the thing. You get all the missions. But they, there was a. Apparently, there's like, D, there's like little DVDs you give him, like little CDs. And that's how you upgrade. But I've never come across them. I know Restive has. But I never have. So, I don't know. If you guys know how to do that part, you know, let me know. Um, when it does go up on YouTube as well, let me know in the comments below as well. Um, I recommend, at the moment, don't walk over that bit there. Because it's really, like, creepy. Him walking around. Oh, yeah, if you want. Whoa. Can we hit him here? Haha, <laughs> hey, you the bum. Yeah, you run. You run, boy. Running from the boat. That would have been actually terrifying. There's a research right next to him. Aha, it's a them.
Is this not bad time? Like, slightly cheating here. This is my first spider, I'm kidding. And I'm killing it, like... I feel really bad. Hey, no firing webs at me. Get out of it. Go on, get. Spider up ahead. Get out of it. Go on, get. Go get. Go get. I want those spider parts. Alright. We can do this. What we do is I'm gonna run down. I'm stuck in a spider web! Ah! No! No! You see the game trying to force me out, by the way. All oh, those spider parts, man. Alright. Get all the parts we need. Yeah, we did. Let's just see. You saw up in the corner it said something about researching. Now, we're gonna run like a wuss right now. Oh, you don't like spiders. Oh, you don't like spiders. Oh, you don't like spiders. Also, you will see that my um, hunger in that's really low. And I think I'm dying. Uh, the plus side about being on single player is it doesn't really kill you. But my game will crash at one point. So if I don't go home and get myself some food and get myself some health really quickly, the game's going to crash with me. Because it's like, what are you doing? Oh god. Can I actually eat this raw? Wait, when did they put that music in? But yeah, uh, <laughs> Die by Misadventure. Dang it. But yeah, this is, that is the. You see what I mean? I can now just run back. <laughs> this is why I want to leave my base. There's too many spiders in my area. They've really, really got out of control. But apparently, the best thing to do is actually uh, build up high. So. 
we're going to do that. I'm going to find a place up high once I get back and do some bit of research. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this one. <laughs> Developers, could you like make a, I don't know, a sword that you can make out of, a sword that you can make out of fl you know, a flame sword? Or a gun. Give me a flamethrower. Oh wow. Hey and yeah, Ants are nice in this game. Unless you're um unless you're basically uh, peeing off the soldier ants. You can actually hit this research station and look. But yeah, I want to build up high, but I don't... Part of me wants to build like an actual research station like right there. But that's just surrounded by spiders. Oh, we can do that again. Yeah, spider trunk. No quicker spider hood, a spider knee pads, and the orb weaver head now. This is the part we got. Spider hood. So basically, it gives me hyper stamina. Ooh. So basically, it makes me run faster, I'm guessing. But I need. Man, yeah, I need all that. And buried them. I need to learn how to make buried. Well, where buried them are from. Right? Literally, is all grounded is at the moment. If I'm honest with you guys. Uh, besides the base building, I don't really think you guys really want to see base building, to be honest. Especially if I've not chosen a good area yet. I'll show you how to set up a like, make a base living. The tropical poncho. Oh, what's up? Can't mix it with different liquids. Oh, that's like we do all that together. I'm thinking up there. Apparently, near the hot dog is a good idea as well. Because there's a gigantic hot dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to think about whether I'm going to build my base. So apparently, you can cheat it a little bit. But if you build a ladder, you can, as long as that ladder is basically not being attacked, you can build everything off it. So I may get to build it on here. So basically, what you do, if I can remember how to do it. There you go. If you press up on the D-pad, you select what you want. So I want stairs. Angle it. It's not going to allow me to do anything because it's in that leaf. But yeah. You can't obviously do anything with it because you can't assign it. You literally, you just. Um, oh, I'm doing that. That's just basically your mate. But you just go along and you go, oh, yes, and you go. Alright, back to my house. I had a bit of a wall around it. You literally, you go find your planks. As you saw back at my base, there was a like, um, there was basically a bunch of planks sitting there because and the hollow blue bits. That was me, which is just laying out my building, what I want to look like, and then I'm just gonna build on it 